types of shares quickly let us also understand basically types of shares is only of two types one is equity and one is preference what is an equity share an equity share is a share which is not a preference share <clears throat> what are equity shares an equity share is a share which is not a preference share what is a preference share a preference share has two preferential rights preference shares have two preferential rights one is a right to receive dividend what is dividend dividend is the share of profit given to the holders of equity shares when a company makes profits these profits are distributed to the shareholders in the form of dividend just like interest is the return on an investment in fixed deposit if we put money as fixed deposit we get interest as a return on this fixed deposit similarly if we buy shares of a company if we invest in the shares of a company the return on this shares is called dividend so the company when it makes profits if there are adequate profits a part of the profits is distributed to the owners to the shareholders of the company in the form of dividend now we have two kinds of shares equity shares and preference shares preference shares shareholders have a preferential right they receive dividend first before the equity shareholders so preference preference shares have a preferential right with respect to the receipt of dividend they are entitled to dividend first and only after they are paid dividend to the equity shareholders get dividend usually preference shares have a fixed rate of dividend 9% preference share would mean that they get 9% of the face value of the preference share as dividend once the shareholder once the preference share dividend is paid if there is profits if there are adequate profits these profits may be distributed to equity shareholders so one preferential right is with the right to receive dividend they receive dividend first similarly they have another preferential right that is in the right to participate in the surplus assets on the liquidation of the company the right to participate in surplus assets when a company is liquidated when a company is wound up its assets are sold money is collected all the outside creditors liabilities outside all the liabilities of the outsiders are settled and thereafter we have to pay the shareholders in such a case first the preference shareholders would be paid and only thereafter the equity shareholders would be paid therefore preference shareholders have two preferential rights one is with the right to receive dividend first and second is to uh, the right to receive in the as right to receive assets first on liquidation of a company now preference shares again are of few types one is cumulative and non cumulative what is a cumulative preference share dividend can be paid only if there are enough profits preference shares usually carry a fixed rate of dividend like i said 9% preference share would indicate that a preference shareholder will get 9% of the face value of the shares as dividend in case there is profit so if in year 1 there are no profits preference shareholders will not get dividend year 2 if there are enough profits the arrears of dividend the dividend which was not received for the first year would be accumulated and it can be paid in the second year if there are adequate profits so cumulative preference shares are those shares where arrears of dividend accumulate and they are paid off 
in the year of profit. So first preference shareholders are paid their arrears of dividend. They are paid the dividend for the current year and only thereafter do the equity shareholders get dividend if there is sufficient profit. Usually in India, preference shares are cumulative preference shares. If nothing is mentioned, it is assumed that preference shares are cumulative. On the other hand, non-cumulative preference share would mean that there is no accumulation of the arrears of preference dividend. If in year one there is no profit, there is no preference dividend. This is not paid later in any later year. The dividend is lost. That is a non-cumulative preference share. What are participating and non-participating preference shares? Preference shares are usually non-participating. Preference shareholders get a fixed rate of dividend. Suppose after paying 9% dividend to the preference shareholders, equity shareholders are given a reasonable amount of profit. Mind you, equity dividend could be 10%, could be 20%, could be 50%, 100% or 200% of the face value of the share. After distributing a reasonable amount of dividend, equity dividend, if there are still adequate profits, the preference shareholders may be allowed to participate in this extra profits. That means they get a dividend over and above the 9% that they have got. In that case, this is called a participating. They participate in the surplus profits. That is called a participating preference share. Or similarly, at the time of liquidation, now winding up of the company. Let us say, on winding up of a company, rupees 10 lakhs is realized. Rupees 2 lakh is given to outside creditors and now we have rupees 8 lakh to be given to the shareholders. Let us say that preference share capital is 2 lakh and equity share capital is also 2 lakhs. Usually in case of non-participating preference shares, preference shareholders would be given 2 lakh and the balance 6 lakh would go to the equity shareholders. However, if, if the shares are participating preference shares, it is possible that out of this 8 lakh, 2 lakh goes to the preference shareholders. Another 2 lakhs goes to the equity shareholders. And now we have a balance of 4 lakh left. It is possible that one third of this 4 lakh or a certain proportion of this 4 lakh, let us say one fourth of this 4 lakh is given to the preference shareholders. One fourth of this 4 lakh is given to preference shareholders. That means they are allowed to participate in the excess assets which are left after paying off the preference and equity share capital. As I said before, Normally, usually preference shares are non-participating. If they are, however, allowed to participate in extra profits beyond their dividend or in extra assets at the time of winding up beyond their capital, then they are said to be participating preference shares. Preference shares, again, type of preference shares could be redeemable and non-redeemable. Redeemable means they would be repaid. In India, all preference shares are redeemable and they must be redeemed by law within a period of 20 years. Non-redeemable would mean that preference shares are not repaid back. Only on liquidation, they would be paid the amount due to them. Another kind of share is convertible, means convertible into shares or non-convertible. Non-convertible would mean preference shares do not get converted into equity shares. Convertible would mean that they could get converted to equity shares. Therefore, preference shares may be cumulative or non-cumulative. Usually, they are cumulative. 
preference shares may be participating or non participating usually they are non participating preference shares may be redeemable or non redeemable as per law in india preference shares no can no longer be non redeemable a company cannot issue non redeemable preference shares so preference shares are redeemable preference shares may be convertible or non convertible non convertible they are not converted into equity shares convertible means they could be converted into equity shares a preference share has two preferential rights the right to receive dividend they receive dividend before the equity shareholders they get they on on winding up of a company they get the assets they get their share of capital before equity shareholders do equity share is a share which is not a preference share 